Hello, this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today is Tuesday, the uh, 29th of uh, January, 2008. And uh, Andrew has asked me to take a look at shares of VMW, uh, share symbol for VMware. The stock here we can see came public back in August of last year and it had a real nice rally. Here you can see it was rallying above the rising 10 and 20 day moving averages, finding support here at that 20 day moving average. Ran all the way up to just under $130 a share, about 125 and then sold off very hard. It started to bounce, but really that was the end of the uh, upward momentum for this stock. When I take a look at a daily chart, the first thing I want to look at to get a feel for the overall trend is what's the direction of the 50 day moving average, and that's this dotted line right here here. You can see that it had been in an uptrend and then kind of flattened out and realistically the 50 day moving average, the average closing price over the last 50 days has been negative all this year so far in January and that means that the sellers have been in control of the stock. The, uh, the path of least resistance is lower. We've got a series of lower highs and this level that had been support on numerous occasions at about 71 and a half. What you'll notice about this 71 and a half level is that it's been tested more frequently. And that's a sign that the sellers have become more aggressive. They've become more aggressive time-wise. First, you saw that it took approximately six weeks for them to uh, test that seven, 71 and a half level from the initial test right in here. And then we saw uh, just about two weeks later that level was tested once again. So it's taking less time for the stock to come down to that level. Uh, there was some support found, but when we what we're seeing is in terms of the bounces is that the bounces don't travel quite as high as they did the prior move. So not only are the sellers getting more aggressive uh, in terms of time, but also in price. And that's what these downward uh, sloping uh, uh, lower highs indicates that the sellers are becoming more aggressive price wise and time wise and the stock the path of least resistance here is lower so this morning uh, the stock is due to open right around sixty one dollars a share the uh, company reported earnings last night that uh, you know at first glance you might look at them and say wow revenues doubled but uh, not good enough for what was expected and now really the the stock is is a mess it's it's a, it's a broken stock it's not a stock that you should be looking at to purchase there's two ways that stocks correct one is through price and the other is through time and typically when they gap down on a big fundamental catalyst like this it's going to take a lot of time for a stock like this one to heal let's take a look at the tick chart the tick chart can uh, gives us the uh, look at the uh, overnight trading in the stock that is the uh, the the after hour session you can see yesterday it closed at eighty three dollars a share um, at, at 4 p.m. Eastern and then when they reported earnings a very sharp and quick sell-off it did get a bounce up to about 87.20 but buying in the aftermarket is a very dangerous game and something you should s stay away from excuse me right now we've got the stock it looked like it was starting to stabilize a little bit and maybe uh, uh, find some support here this morning but right now you can see it's heading towards its lows of the morning at sixty dollars and seventy nine cents stay away from this stock unless you're a very disciplined short-term oriented trader um, but this is uh, you know the stock is like I said it's a big mess if we take a look at uh, a tool I like to use is called the VWAP the volume weighted average price so what it simply is is it takes all the transactions all the volume and, and uh, divides that up to come up with an average price for any particular time frame well the, the software that I use is Realtek and on Realtek they have a nice tool called the VWAP line what I can do is start that line here back from its August IPO and draw a line that starts going straight across and you can see that line is changing the price of it is that that, that is is changing and when I bring it straight across this is the average price that the stock has traded at since it came public so since its IPO all the after hours trade after market trading um, is what not after market but all of the regular market trading that is not including the IPO price the average price the stock is traded at is about eighty four and a half dollars a share so when it's down at sixty bucks a share it means that basically everyone is losing not everyone of course but the average person who is in this stock is about twenty five dollars underwater that leaves a lot of bad sentiment in the stock a lot of losses and any rallies that, that do occur in this stock you can pretty uh, much bet that this level 
uh, if it gets up there, and I, I don't think it will, but over the next several months, there's likely to be a heavy source of supply met right in here that will act as resistance for this stock. So again, I would say stay away from this stock. It's a broken one. It's going to need a lot of time to heal before it becomes a good stock to purchase once again.